Hello. So once again, I'm back with my laptop and today I am excited to continue something that I found that really worked for myself, which is doing a seasonal wrap up. So today I'm doing my spring reading wrap up. I did my winter reading wrap up, which was my first kind of introduction to doing things seasonally because I don't think I read fast enough to do a monthly wrap up that has a lot of content. So I'm going to start off by saying I'm extremely late and that I am counting spring season as March 15th to May 31st. I am filming this on June 29th. So yeah, but I'm still only including books that I read before or on May 31st. So I'm happy to announce that I read seven books for the spring season, which is not too bad considering I went through a major life change during this time, as well as finishing up my last semester. So the first book I listened to via audiobook, and that's The Lost Sisters by Holly Black. This is part of the Folk of the Air trilogy, except this book is considered 1.5, so it takes place between the first book and the second book and basically it's kind of like a letter that Taryn writes to Jude, her sister, because in the first book she does a lot of wrong by her sister and so this is her perspective and her almost apology. Now as I was listening to this it's pretty short and all I was thinking about was it was written in a very magical way and the way the story was told was entertaining and it was fine. But thinking about it emotionally and how I feel about the contents of the book, if I was Jude, I do not think that I would have accepted this. And while I have a better understanding of Taryn now, I still feel like it didn't really help her character very much. And because I've already read the full trilogy, honestly, I think that it's kind of an unnecessary read. I didn't think that it was a big enough deal that it deserved its entire own book. And I totally think you do not need to read this at all. And I think most people don't even know about this and they just read the trilogy, which I think is great for everyone. I ended up giving this a three stars though just because I love her world and I love her characters. Elfheim is a beautiful place and I just liked being back in that world so honestly that really helped this. The next book that I read was part of my reading three thrillers so the next three books are all going to be technically like a part of that. And so the first book I read was Rock Paper Scissors by Alice Feeney. I listened to this as an audiobook and it's basically about two characters, Adam and Amelia as they go on this trip to Scotland to try and see their marriage and both of them kind of seem a little bit like hesitant or they carry a lot of weight with the other person and so it kind of seems a little hopeless and then a weird things start happening around their cabin and there's a major twist at the end. I think a quote from the excerpt is someone doesn't want to live happily ever after. So unfortunately I did give this book two stars and it's just because the only interesting part to me was the twist. The twist was great, but the entire rest of the book was so boring. I think I mentioned this previously, but literally I was listening to this while I was in the hospital waiting room, which was like a three hour wait, and I had to take out my headphones because I was like, I would rather stare at this wall than listen to this. And that is exactly what I did. And so I honestly, just felt very mad about this book which I was disappointed in because I feel like there's so much hype around it and a lot of people really seem to love it. But moving on, the next book I read was The Hunting Wives by May Cobb. I read this on my Kobo and I got this from my library. I was super excited about this one too. It has been on my radar for about a year now. This book is about a girl named Sophie who is basically invited to join this hunting wives club which I think takes place on Fridays and they basically go to one of their cabins Margot's cabin and they shoot little guns in the wood I think they shoot those little discs I'm not sure what they're called and so that's how it starts all of these women are super 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 rich and our main character Sophie is pretty middle class Eventually there's a murder of a local teen girl who they all know and somehow Sophie, our main character, gets mixed up in the whole situation and it just starts to spiral from there. This book was very chaotic about a very chaotic group of women 
and honestly it was really hard to root for our main character pretty much the entire time. All of the women did not really make great choices and didn't act in any sort of manner that would make me like them or root for them as characters, so I was pretty unaffected when negative things started happening in all of their lives, but it, I was entertained and I definitely think that this is a book written for older women, but honestly it was really hard to relate to the characters, I didn't like the characters, but I was kind of here for the totally unhinged, unapologetic women just vibing and breaking every single rule that they can think of. I ended up giving that a three stars and honestly I felt pretty meh. I just never think about it. Things started to pick up from here, thank goodness, because I was starting to enter a reading slump. So I read Survive the Night by Riley Seiker, and I read this book in about two days, and I think one of the things that made this book so great was the fact that I read it very late at night. And so when you're reading at night, things just like hit different and I was trying to get the spooky vibes. I would turn on my TV with the rain and these pictures of like creepy little like alleys or like, I think I had like a lot of like London late at night too. And it was like lots of roads and I had my cozy vibes and it was raining outside and it was great. And so I really tried to build that atmosphere, which I think contributed to it. When I first finished, I gave it five stars, but now that I feel like it's been a couple months, I've actually given it four stars now and I love this book. It's about a girl who ends up having to drive home because this traumatic event happened at her school and she's just done. So she's studying film and it gives me extreme, extreme scream vibes. She ends up driving home with a stranger. As she is driving, she starts to think that this stranger who's driving her is the serial killer who's been at her campus for a while. And so it's kind of her journey trying to escape or trying to figure things out and just along this long drive. So the whole book is just about this drive. And it was really cool. And the ending felt like a film and kind of felt like a little bit boring because it felt really drawn out. And I was enjoying the first half. And then I just felt like I was like sitting in a movie theater, like just waiting for the movie to be done. The next book I read is Circe by Madeline Miller. Honestly, I didn't finish this book that long ago and I really can't tell you much about it because it truly just went in one ear and out the other because I had to listen to it because reading the book, I just like couldn't really get going and then listening to it, I kind of picked up my pace and I remember being entertained and vibing with it, but honestly, I, I just don't remember. And so Cersei is a witch who's now banished to this island and it's kind of just about her living and just you know, learning about her powers and just about the world through her perspective and gaining a new perspective and so it was a beautiful story and it was really beautifully told and it was really cool to kind of be in that world and I ended up giving it four stars and I don't really ever think about it so that's just Cersei. Alright, so now I have entered the very exciting world of Throne of Glass, which was written by Sarah J Maas, and I'm reading the whole series on my Kobo, and I hope to finish the whole series by the end of this summer, and I've already started to fit in a little romance and some other books here and there to kind of break it up, and so far I've read two books. So the first was Throne of Glass, and it's about this girl Selena, who ends up, she was a slave in this camp called Endovir, and the king is viewed by her as this horrible evil person because I think he had something to do with her enslavement. He's kind of like the bad guy, but the prince comes to her and says, hey, can you be our assassin? And if so, we will free you from here after you've completed like a certain amount of service. And she's like hesitant, but then he's like, hey, you can live in this castle, it'll be great. And she's like, I guess. So basically she has to go through this huge competition against all these other prospective assassins, essentially, for the king. And so it's kind of her journey through that. And we get to see Kale, who is the like general, he's like the head of the military in the castle. And then Dorian, who's the prince and kind of their friendships and kind of exploring this world and it was really exciting and I never wanted to put it down and I was thoroughly entertained by it. I love that it. it's the perfect series to get into and I'm so excited to be reading it. It's amazing. I gave it five stars. So that's that. 
The next one is Crown of Midnight and I also gave this five stars and this is pretty much to me it felt like there was a lot of like plots that kind of opened up different like storylines that opened up in the first book and now we actually get to explore those in the second book so there's these like workies the relationship dynamics switch dramatically in this book and I have already as we're speaking now I've already finished Air of Fire and I'm starting the Assassin's Blade and what I can say is like a lot of people told me you'll either really love the first half of the series and you'll really hate the second half or you'll hate or find the first half boring and then find the second half amazing but so far I'm finding that I thought the beginning was amazing and now looking back I'm like wow it gets even better so now it's really amazing but those are basically the seven books that I read I'm super excited to be reading way more now because I'm definitely in the opposite of a reading slump. I'm reading too much and I've read some really fun books. I'm finishing up with the Steminist novellas by Ellie Hazelwood. I'm continuing with Throne of Glass and I'm also reading Fourth Wing. So exciting. But anyways, thanks for hanging out with me. Hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye!